My next upload tonight, this morning, is with regard to um, humanitarian work and the role that humanitarians have in society and the duties and functions of a humanitarian in many capacities, um, be it in advocacy, be it in peacekeeping, be it in reconciliatory or negotiative measures but the role of humanitarians is really outstanding and um, most noteworthy is the role of the humanitarian when peacekeeping and when um, assisting or cooperating or facilitating um, progress in society for the greater good so um the humanitarian that um alters for the better people's existence in society and that respects civil society is not exactly um easily undermined or overlooked um as a recovery advocate um the work has been difficult but positive. Um, as a teacher, a humanitarian is a teacher. A humanitarian has many functions, has many capacities, and to be able to set the example and the standard, to be respectful of everyone's role and position in society without abusing that role or position, and working for the betterment and positive growth of society to safeguard everybody in society is a huge task so those individuals that undermine or scapegoat or joyride on other people's humanitarian work is is quite injurious to evolutionary progress um, it's also quite insulting when any profession undermines the experience of an individual that has experienced wrongdoings, particularly in the case of children. The issue of children not being respected or safeguarded in society and not having the full experience of a family due to negligence is really not excusable. It doesn't set a very high professional standard either when professions do not fulfill and when they evade and avoid. It doesn't set a very good standard when professions and their duties, obligations and capacities are not respected and when aren't they are not respectful of a unique experience and it's not very progressive when any set of circumstances caused by any individuals discomforting any woman or child in society due to shallow or superficial intentions that are very dangerously perpetrated and that are very insulting and defamatory when that kind of a set of circumstances is accommodated and when individuals antagonise and when they obstruct and when they withhold they're not achieving the humanitarian goal so the role of humanitarians and advocates and teachers and mothers and parents are all a very relevant issue in my present circumstances. Civil society principles respects every person regardless of age, race, denomination, profession, background, ethnicity. 
hate crime is very insidious and a lot of people think they're being clever when they're falsifying, when they're falsely claiming, when they're trespassing, intruding and defaming. That's not intelligent behaviour and it doesn't respect humanity or the role of humanitarians. It doesn't respect the profession that is being represented in any function or capacity that tries to demean or belittle the principles of civil society or the role or purpose of humanitarians or the even the existence of a human being being disrespected as a consequence of poor professionalism, poor standards. So this little upload is just from a sociological, anthropological, cultural, political experience that I'm having due to wrongdoings and failings and negligence and incompetence. And as a humanitarian that has had a peacekeeping capacity and that has helped progress and development, it's really insulting my intelligence and civil society and other people's families and professions that people would try to be cute and clever, hiding behind the walls and relaying falsehoods and resorting to the lowest form of conduct and exacerbating former misconduct. It's not intelligent behaviour when adults in any profession are unable to correct their failings. It's a poor representation of what they represent. As a teacher of a very clean track record that has experienced slander, cyber crime, etc. This entire issue is very insulting. As a humanitarian of international protection, those disrespecting health and well-being, using artificial developments to disrupt and discomfort are not of progress. So they're insulting not only my intelligence and my profession and my role and capacity as a mother married, they're insulting themselves and their professions and the democracy. This is for the interests of humanitarians the European Court of Human Rights, with regard to the issues being caused in Tralee County Kerry as a consequence of hate crime, treason and property and financial theft and identity theft. My creative and intellectual work that has been pillaged is also an issue. So as a creative artist that is experiencing these human rights abuses with the freedom of movement, etc., and restrictions as a consequence of individuals helping themselves to my property, my purpose and my profession. These issues in a modern day democracy are insulting women and children. So it's a sad sign of the times that intelligent behaviour isn't apparent or transpiring after three years, four years of misconduct and negligence. As a teacher, I have to say, it's setting a bad example to the young people of the um, present generation. So I'd appreciate the Honourable Government realising the very dangerous misconduct occurring. It's very insulting and injurious.